Peggy 18. Before Isaac Clarke even got a sniff of a necromorph, he first had to survive the rigours of space. Extreme temperatures, no atmosphere and high g-force are all out to get you and I thought I'd have a go at experiencing the latter thanks to this. It's a centrifuge. Wish me luck. This 60-foot diameter rig built in the 1950s is still in service today and spins test subjects round, delivering up to 9 Gs. Alex Stevenson, senior scientist at Kinetic, explains what high g-force does to your body. So Matt's actually going to slowly accelerate up, so his weight of his body is going to increase to the actual magnitude of the g we're putting to. So if it's a 3G, his whole body will feel three times as much. But the main problem is that uh, blood's a fluid, and if it's going to weigh more, it's going to head south. So it's going to head towards his feet. The eyes will be deprived of the blood and the oxygen first, so you end up losing elements of your vision, you'll lose the colour, it'll go grey, and then gradually you're actually, the edges of your vision will, will disappear completely and it'll tunnel in, the vision will tunnel in. And then when you get past that sort of stage, there might not be enough oxygen for his brain to function and then he'll lose consciousness. Barbara, whatever you're seeing, it's not real, man. Oh well, can't be as bad as being gutted by a necromorph, I suppose. So let's strap in and see if I've got what it takes to be an engineer and follow in the footsteps of Isaac Clarke. You gotta trust me here! You okay? Yeah. Okay, and if we can have 3.2G for 15 seconds, please. Okay, talk us through that one. Yeah, I might want to stop things there. Yeah, had enough? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, did you get, get quite strong visual symptoms there? Uh, yeah, yeah, it started, it started to go a little bit tunnel vision-y. So, uh, yeah. No problem at all. Uh, we'll go around to the door and we'll come fish you out. Thank you very much. Okay, Ian, just round to the door, please. Yeah. 